You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, General Hospital fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I have got our weekly prediction edition for you. I've got five juicy predictions, and as always, these are based in official ABC soap opera spoilers as well as recent episode activity. I've got five predictions. One for Jason and Sonny. I've got one for Dex and Sonny. One for Ava and Sonny. If you can't tell, it's a sunny, heavy week. Another for Heather and Laura, and one for Jason and Liz. Let's talk about all of these, but if you haven't, please reach down and click subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Number one prediction, Jason Morgan saves Sonny Corinthos life. So it looks like Jason is at the scene of a shooting at the docks on Monday's episode. He's got on his trademark black, not his jacket, but he's got on black gloves, a black shirt, and it looks like he might have a bullet wound in his side, not in his chest, not serious, but bullet wound are always a big deal. Why is he there though? Is he the shooter or not? I feel increasingly like he's not the shooter despite the stone reference and the ghost reference, even though they fit. I'm kind of hoping Jason is working to solve the mob boss shooter case as an independent investigator, not part of law enforcement, but we'll see. And I feel like Jason might be shooting at the bad guys and actually saves Sonny. So the spoilers related to this, there was a scene from the Friday promo for the Monday, March 4th episode that have Dante seeing someone stunning. Someone looks like he recognizes and it shocks him. That points to it being Jason on the scene. There's a spoiler pick I cannot show you because they exclusively released it to People Magazine. And Jason's in a black shirt. He's on the docks, looks like. He has some blood on the fingers of one hand. Not a ton, not a whole handful, but some. And there's sort of a tear in the left side of his shirt. It's a dark shirt. It's hard to see if there's blood, but definitely looks like some sort of flesh wound. So I just wonder if Jason's been working this case in the background and shows up in time to save Sonny. And then there's the whole stone thing and the whole person is a ghost back from the dead thing, you know. It's, I also mentioned in another video, by the way, I said Ava killed AJ. What I meant by that was, I I know Ava didn't shoot him, but what I meant by it was it's Ava's fault that AJ was killed. If you recall, she was gaslighting Sonny and got him all wound up and convinced him to shoot AJ. She wanted AJ dead because he knew she had killed Connie Falconeri and she didn't want him to have the chance to blab. So she basically pointed Sonny at him as a weapon. That's what I mean by she killed him. I don't think Sonny would have killed AJ left to his own devices, but Ava had him all worked up up back then. Oh, uh, also, my editor had showed a picture of Olivia Falconeri instead of Olivia Jerome. I usually pre-watch all the videos to check the pictures, but I was in transit. I was flying from one side of the country to another and I didn't preview it. And when I saw that and saw your comments, I was like, oh, so I talked to my editor. Hopefully you guys won't see that again. Now he knows the difference between the Olivia's, but thank you for your comments. I appreciate your feedback. All right. Our second prediction, Dex defies Sunny and stays in Port Charles. So a little more than a week ago at Dex's apartment, you know, Sunny pulled a gun, threatened him, ordered him to leave town or else. Dex didn't want to go because he loves Jocelyn. And let's be real, Dex loves Sunny. <laughs> And he loves working for him, not loves romantically, but like he sees him as a mentor, a father kind of figure because he has such a bad childhood that, yes, a mob boss has appeal as a father figure. But then Sonny made him an offer he couldn't refuse. And of course, Jocelyn finally found him and she tried to talk Dex into staying, hopped in bed with him. He still said no. But next week, Michael wants Dex to stay in Port Charles. And between Joss and Michael, I think they're going to convince him to stay in Port Chuck in defiance of Sonny's order. 
And if the mob shooter winds up caught soon, that should lessen the risk. And I know Sonny doesn't want him around, but I don't think Dex is going to listen. So spoilers related to this Tuesday, March 4th, Jocelyn and Dex are in danger. Wednesday the 6th, Anna is grilling the two of them. And on Friday the 8th, Michael tells Dex he wants him to stay in Port Charles. Maybe he'll offer him a legit job. Security over at Aurora Media or at ELQ, something like that. My third prediction, Ava and Sunny cross lines after another life and death moment. We've seen Ava and Sunny settling into this sort of comfortable domestic arrangement they have, as weird as it is. They're starting to turn to each other, confide in each other, rely on each other. And she just convinced Sunny to take her to that meeting with Selena Wu. And we also had that thing where Ava used the word relationship about her and Sunny when talking talking to Nina and Nina flipped out about it. So this coming week, looks like on Monday, there's a shootout where Ava and Sonny are doing the fake negotiation with Selena Wu. They're trying to lure the shooter out of hiding. Looks like it works. And it looks like this could be another close call for Sonny and Ava. And I just wonder if the two times that they've almost died together causes them to get a little too close. In Puerto Rico, if you remember, Sonny was shielding Ava physically and he might do the same on the docks in Port Charles. And that's got to warm her heart a little bit. Both of them are lonely. Both of them are now single. They live under the same roof. There's chemistry. Although I will be real to say Mara West could have chemistry with a lampshade or the bowl of moss in the kitchen, you know. And there are some spoilers that hint at it. Will they kiss or almost kiss or go further and take it to the bedroom? Maybe. We'll see. So the spoilers that made me think about this, Monday, uh, March 4th, we have the mob shootout. Thursday, March 7th, we have a loaded moment between Sunny and Ava, says the official spoilers. Loaded moment. Loaded means something. I think that hints at, at, at heat, right? And then by Friday the 8th, Nina has cornered Ava again. Maybe Nina finds something out. Maybe N- Nina senses that they're getting too close. We'll see. Our fourth prediction, Heather tries to steal baby Ace from Laura Spencer Collins. So on Monday, we have Heather Weber back on the scene. She's at General Hospital, maybe for a checkup. She's going to spot her grandson, Ace Cassidine, with someone that she doesn't want near the baby. She's going to flip out, screaming and raging, saying, get away from my grandson. Maybe it's Cyrus standing with Laura who's holding Ace and she doesn't want Cyrus near her grandkid. Heather is supposed to be trying to break out of confinement this week. She's furious that Esme's dead. She's angry that her grandson's being raised by people that she hates. And the hospital is definitely an easy, easier place for her to escape from than prison. But let's be real. Heather has escaped captivity many times. Remember, she escaped once just to go to Kelly's Diner and get a BLT. So yeah, escape is a possibility. And her trying to take her grandson also makes sense. She didn't get to raise Esme because she gave her up for adoption, but a chance to raise Esme's son could definitely entice Heather into to escaping. The spoilers tied to this Monday, March 4th, Heather tries to break out and Tuesday, March 5th, Laura has to act fast in a crisis. Our very last prediction, Jason turns up to Liz looking for medical help. So there's this long running spoiler. It was an official spoiler. It came out at the beginning of the year as part of the 2024 look ahead spoilers. And it said someone from Liz's past shows up needing her help. And we have the spoiler photo of Jason with what could be a gunshot wound in his side. And if he's trying to stay off the radar, he might head to Liz's house for help instead of going to the hospital. Jason knows Elizabeth Weber would definitely help him. And a pretty reliable leaker said that it is going to be Jason coming to Liz looking for an assist and maybe she's not home alone. A clip from Monday preview has Dante looking shocked when he sees someone that he recognizes. So it definitely could be Jason on the other side of Dante's shocked face. But I can also see Jason taking off after the mob shootout rather than sticking around to answer questions from the PCPD or the FBI or Sonny or anybody that he doesn't want to talk to. So the spoiler for this, again, based strictly on the 2024 look ahead spoiler that came from the old head writers that said some 
someone from Elizabeth's past shows up at her door needing help. And of course, this spoiler might be out of play because they were fired and somebody else rewrote his return allegedly. We'll see. Those are all our predictions for this week. Prediction edition for General Hospital. Please subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss a thing. Definitely drop your comments, whether you're excited about these, whether you agree, disagree. I love reading your comments. I don't always have time to reply, but I read them all. Thank you so much for coming by. As always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and we are here talking GH all week long. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 